or rather plug head spacemen from the mid mid 60s to later 70s almost impossible to date much of it extra light we're hearing Utica so it might get loud uh, front two rows there are believed to be Mark's spacemen this is the Mark's space figure output from the mid 60s from after Operation Moonbase and Mystery Spaceship to the I guess it would be the Apollo landing guys um, the row behind them those might be Mark's as well because all of these have the single let's see if we can pick one up a uh, single uh, recessed hole on their pod feet, as we call them. Pod foot plug head spacemen. Uh, in the front row by Marks. These may be, they're a different plastic. These guys here are a softer plastic with painted features. These are a harder plastic with unpainted features. These are more like Army Man plastic. This is more sort of a vinyl material. Uh, it's interesting. Um, behind them are uh, Cheralia. I believe these are Cheralia swap it space figures. And as far as my understanding goes, swap it refers to a certain type of army man figure made up of components. Most of them were cowboys, Indians, and medieval knights. Uh, the form was developed by Cheralia, an offshoot of Britons in the United Kingdom. And I believe that the Cheralia figures can be uh, distinguished by how they have base plates to them, although these are brown rather than the green base plates um, that I've seen European vendors offering. Um, and, and, and some of these came from Europe. Some of them, most came from the United States. I know all the Marx guys uh, came from the United States. Most of, of, of these came from overseas with the brown plates on the bottom. Um, and one sad fact about the Cheralia swap it's as if their plastic has gone very brittle and almost all of my guys have suffered a fracture if not split at the middle this guy here is split in the middle um and this guy's got a broken arm he's actually my favorite of, the, of them all that's just a nice little figure and he's got a happy happy looking dude too um, and the Cheralias might, might be distinguishable by how their, their faces are, are, are different <coughs> than, uh, than the knockoffs. And I think that the Marks were a knockoff of the Cheralias. These were the chicken egg. In the chicken egg relationship, these came first. In the back are, I, I, I want to call them cake topper astronauts. I think these, the ones in the back all were part of cake decoration sets um, coming out of Hong Kong in the mid to later 70s. And indeed, here's an example of them here by Betta Cake Decor. Over there at Betty's Variety, 169. I wish I could go shopping at Betty's. Pick up a couple more of these. I'm, I'm resisting the temptation to open them. Um, but if we look at the bottoms of them, they're they're bottoms of their pod feet are, are smooth as opposed to the bottoms of, of the suspected marks pieces which which have the, the indented circle um, that's present on many of their figures here's here's three for, for comparison here's here's an MPC uh, spaceman with a Geiger counter uh, so the the swap it types are, are larger than them. Here's an Operation Moon Base guy. He's got some user paint on it, but again, the swap it's are, are, are much bigger. And I got 
the orange one out to remind me of how I saw a couple of these as a kid and I found them quite frankly disturbing because they're in such exaggerated poses with these really ultra thin spindly limbs that are like insectoid almost compared to the stiff stiffly posed uh, astronaut in his, in his pressurized EVA suit um, this is a, a later 70s marks figure probably from either the, the Star Station 7 set or Galactic Command learning more about how that worked this week as well um, I'd like to get more of these I'd like to get have more of a variety of poses my favorite are these two here who are not holding any equipment and just look bugged out bad acid spacemen from the uh, from the mid 60s and again I'd love to like to find another one of these so I could crack them open and have brand new swappets but they're not swappets they're plug head spacemen based on the charity of form and they're not divers they're meant to be space explorer figures I'm not sure what this device is I think that's supposed to be a camera I want to say it's a camera and that they're kneeling and holding the flash bulb um, but why they'd have a rifle while doing that is is, is questionable to say the least some sort of radiation sensor maybe I don't I don't know but what else could those cameras be other than cameras you tell me and if anybody has a sort of handy guide as to how to distinguish one from the other I'd love to see it um, I do know that the Marx figures at least from this series uh, have have painted features on their on their packs and and this one here in the the, the, the blue he's one of my favorites is see how his gun is is nicely painted as well as his backpack and sadly he had some damage to his foot there in the back other than that he's he's probably in the best shape of them all um, I don't think anybody makes them anymore even for cake decorations and as you can tell here they don't like to sit up too well the balance isn't isn't that great the design wasn't as well thought out as maybe it should have been and they're weird they are weird spaceman forms from the 1960s and I'm a fan would like to be able to figure out how to tell one from the other for sure and not just based on conjecture over visible attributes.